What do you think of yesterday, bro? Up here? Yeah. I mean, that's it. I think I, 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 I so like was the that, that we got in the morning more than we were here at night. What do you think of yesterday, Sebas? Normal day. Normal day. All right, you guys, just to give a little bit of context here, we're outside of the Nike clearance store. These boys get here around two to three hours before opening. Uh, that's how, you know, the competition is over here. And, you know, we're just outside waiting 10 minutes before the store opens. It's pretty freezing out here. I want to give a big props to Sebastian or Sebas. You see him right there in the hoodie and the hat. He's the one who's told us about this store. You know, he always showed me his finds on Instagram. And, you know, we've talked back and forth for several months. He's actually a very early subscriber, so I do want to give a big shout out to him. Thank you, Sebastian, for telling us about this store. And like I said, we were talking for a couple of months. He showed me his finds from here, and I was like, man, this is crazy. I might have to go to Texas and uh, see what y'all got going on over there, jokingly. But, you know, that quickly turned into a reality for 2022. Um, I didn't really think i'd be traveling too much in 20 well in 2021 traveling was really out of the equation but uh not anymore i love traveling to be honest definitely going to be hitting more clearance outlets this year so shout out to sebas he taught us the the ropes here and right now we're just going to be waiting we got a very interesting clip coming up shortly so please stay tuned you guys also make sure to like the video really really appreciate it are you on the gopro yes sir it's on your live stream sure. you on your twitch yeah. uh no youtube What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Shout out to my boy Drewski. No days off kicks. Giving people a hand, man. Make sure you're hitting me out the whole man. And the store. You know, I already made niggas take down pictures of the uh, videos of the store. Man. Chase Bay posted it on YouTube, man. Oh, Three more people showed up. I'm talking. I'm tripping. <laughs> people keep their family and pay their bills on this. I'm all the way serious. Why are you doing more work on this coming? Huh? I came over and was coming. Get their plate, bro. You just don't understand. You, know? you just don't understand. We was here when it was four people. Man. You just don't understand. Now it's about 20 people. As you guys heard, this guy wasn't too happy about new people being at the clearance store. I didn't really have anything uh, you know, nice to say to him right there. So I just didn't say anything to him at all and throughout the whole trip. So. Yeah, right now we're going to be entering into the clearance store. It's a little hectic, uh, and y'all are going to see. Go, 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 <laughs> go, go, right. go, 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 And you guys see uh, and heard, it's pretty hectic. Pretty sure that dude was telling his daughter to go, like, he wasn't telling everybody else to go looking at it now but yeah here if you go to a certain section and there's nothing you're out of luck and that's exactly what happened to me and antonio seba's got some stuff see a dude there with glasses and a black hoodie they call him fat boy there i don't know his real name me and antonio was our second day there didn't know too much but look at those jordan one lows those those are gonna play into a part in this video or the next but yeah you guys we're gonna see what the rest of the people got what you got nothing i didn't see nothing interesting either everybody got everything else yeah one in front of me really baby heat 150. i was not even hitting 150. that's what i thought retail yeah retail retail Maybe in a bigger size, but you never know. I don't know. I, can, I don't know the market on them, to be honest. Which 130, 82 results. These were returns, right? This one returns. I ain't these were returns yesterday. If you don't take those 11s and half, I'll take them for myself to put them on my feet. Size 10 road trip boots. 80 bucks, that's not bad. Let's check the comps. 80 bucks here. That's crazy. Size 10 and a half, 44 results, 11 comps. Eh. I gotta try them on, see how they fit. I never had lows. I have a 12, but 
I don't know how to love enough half fit. These would be dailies. What y'all think? I'm taking these guys. Only thing right now is to get in this. And what are these? Vapor Fly. I mean, Vapor Edge Elite. 60. Pretty crazy in here. We're gonna see if there are any, if there's a market for baby shoes on Amazon. I don't think there is. Sheesh. Herbaceous. Huh? Herbaceous color. According to mine, I seen the, what's the I seen the little circles right here. And I'm like, wait. I'm like, that's the GT cut. Size five sold for what? Two, Damn. You ever Baby Elite six and a half for 70. Copper draw. Up tempos, how much? 60. And some Nike Air Zoom X. Paperfly next percent woman size nine. Dang, they're worn. Nike Court Lights. No price. Crater flying at 50. Pretty sure these were 50 on foot sites as well. These look new, but I'm not sure what kind of polishes they are. PJ Tucker, size 5. I don't think anybody bought these size 5. This would be like a gamble, but... I mean, also against my shoe size. Pick up 6.5 women's, I don't know. PJ Tucker, anybody will be picking this up or whatever. They're here for how much? And they're women's? Good size. Then we need bro. This one's not looking that good, but it's coming summer. It's another size 12. 12 in there. This one like a for 996. There's one sell for 115. But when I we find it in the air, it is a good. <laughs> They're air mats. So. And this I don't know. I know it's only for 115 too. But in there now, but size 4 yet. Why? It's another one in there. Look clean. But only three sales though. Three sales, 110. 50 bucks worth the cop. How many listing? 22. 22. Damn, that's a lot of listing. If you have four and a half Prestos. 40. $40 Prestos worth it. $34.99. For $34.99. Take them. Don't be peeping too hard. They're going to tell you to stop. <laughs> we and Seba yesterday were over there by the sandals and like we weren't even looking at the thing. We were just talking. Like, looking and they tell you how to move? Yes. Right, that's just how it is. Let me see. They got a barcode? It's you though, buddy. This is beautiful. Never know. Is that Amazon? Yeah. If this was like a, a men's lunch, I would pick it up. Trash. Oh, not trash, but it doesn't come up. Here that we're looking up. Pretty big sizes. Nobody's taking them here, but let's see. 90 right. result, US shoe size. There's six size 12 listed. They're listed pretty high. Six size 12s. Four comps for 125, 120. That's very slim margins, right? Oh, I got some Phantom Venom Elites here, 35 bucks. Got some pros for 20. Five and a half. Women seven. I mean, we can look them up. Search them up. This colorway is not available on Nike. I think I looked these on myself yesterday. We're looking in deep. Okay. Okay, search them nine and a half. There's nine, nine and a half. Okay. How many? 135, 114 cheapest, 169. Doesn't matter. What are the comps like? Um. So there's nine listing. Four comps. 50% sell. That guy got desperate. But look. 114, yeah. 19, four. It's not bad. February, last one was March 15th, 28 results. I don't know if there's any at uh, 12 size. These maybe. 20. They're pros though. Oh, these are elites. The pros, bro. These are elites. For real? Oh, yeah, they are. Shh. They're in the wrong bus. They're just kind of dookie. I mean, six and a half so for 100. I say, I say, you know, women these, seven. These are better than these. This model's nice. These are ass? Yeah. That model, even, even in like size 10, 11, it's already moved. For real? Oh, I swear. Breaking my heart. These uh, Legend 9 Academies, pretty cool. One result, no comps. Maybe worth the risk. I mean, this will be a gamble, but I'm not here to gamble. Let me check out Edgar's store. Hey, bro, that was yeah. Check out my shit he sold. Mm -hmm. Let me check it for you. 900 as well. Oh, That's 10 things a day. It used to be more when we used to be able to promote. It was like 20. Why y'all can't promote it? Uh, we messed up a shipment and we got like a, not a bunch of bad reviews, but like a bunch of cases. Y'all not a top uh, eBay rated seller no more? Nope. Below average. Damn. 
Oh, man, how are you below average? How do you get below rated? 100. 1,100. How many speak. listens do you have total? How many listings is total? Uh, 1,200. Hey, how much do you have to listen for? Total yeah, beauty. 250, yeah. Keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them up. Keep them up. You got these from here? Yep. How yeah. much? 80. Wow. Sold those for retail, man, like 30 bucks, bro. Uh, oh, yeah, we got them for 80. Yeah. He has like regular shit too, but he sells it. Like, Texas, 150. Buy yeah, more shit? Like, like send us? Fucking one to nine. You know what can I do? Like the Mbappe, those are the ones I got in the house. I bought, I, bought, I paid 220. I just don't have a listen. IDs. The one Yesterday, oh, no, sir. IDs. Yesterday, sir. The best thing I took from here right now is those personal Jordan 1 lows. So these are your pickups. Hold on, hold on. You're going too fast, man. When was this? Uh, I don't know. February. Maybe. February. Air Forces, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Mejor mañana. Huh? Jordan one mid. 50 bucks. 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Now, let me see what's up here. Dunks. Uh, Dunks. How many you get these for? Oh, those are retail. My account was in zone, so I don't know. I was promoting like 5%. Five, six Too high, bro. Yeah, That's know, really high. I wasn't selling. That's you thing. got trash shit or? No, it was good stuff. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. I don't yeah. promote too much. Like, look at promote like six hundred and seventeen. I have seven twenty-nine. Uh, never promote that. Oh, this one. Is that all shoes or is it? Uh, no, no. These, oh. all this was retail, but the guy in the cashier hooked me up. Yeah, he gave me his discount or what? No, he just he priced it at, at the normal price. GT oh, twelve oh, well. elite. And go. Uh, uh, they put, uh, for clothes? Or this is for 190. For everything. 50 nah, bucks. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Okay. 100 bucks. Oh, does it come up, huh? Oh, yeah, this was one morning. Oh, this was one morning. We're in Sebas', Sebas favorite store. Where you go when you when you come to Ross, what's the first section you go to? The shoes, the shoes. Levi's? No. What the? Hundred? How much? 60? 55, 55. 13. Blue wow, that's a, 50 bucks though. Nike? Nike finally arrives. These are softball shoes. Only good thing are those under armors. What does under armor look like? No comes. They're listing. They're cool design though. So we we just hit the Nike clearance store for the, like the second time I think. And it was pretty bad. Hopefully it's better tomorrow. And we might go back like right now. Or what do you think of your Nike right now? Burlington RBX thought Texas was good and once looking like uh, some Adidas shoes or some bull crap superstars 40 bucks ponies feelers oh Red Wing no good year trip 180 more than 120 Next, I'm happy 200 200 for these size 10 elites yeah. elites 69. Can't beat that. Can't tell you where this is at. <laughs> somewhere in Colorado, somewhere, huh? Somewhere in the United States. Oh, so here they said they're not pushing anything out for the rest of the day because somebody grabbed something. So basically, while the Nike employees are putting the shoes out on the shelf, nobody can grab anything. And then they give the signal. They say, you guys can go. They put their hand up, put the thumbs up. And that's when... The resellers that are waiting there can go and grab the items. Apparently, somebody didn't wait for them to, you know, to give the okay and grab something before they before they gave the signal. And they said they weren't going to put anything else out for that day, which is unfortunate. So that's what I was referring to. And next clip is going to be me and Antonio at the hotel. Not an eventful day two, but we were chilling with the boys and we enjoyed it. All right, so here we're on day two of the trip. We split our stuff. We're going to ship it in these boxes. This is my stuff. All shoes. All shoes. These shoes. And then this is Antonio's stuff. Uh, all of these. Those elites. Sheesh. Um, stuff in the bag. And then those. And then 
Yeah. They're uh, in the clear bags. So that's 10 and a half Air Max 270s for $80. Some clothing. And that's about it. This is a hotel. It's basically free. Uh, I mean, it's, it's horrible right now, but we pay for it with Amex points. So the game plan is to throw all these shoes. Well, I want to put all the shoes that are not going to get dirty easily first. So they're going to be loose. Yeah, I got these for the personal 110 plus tax. I love it in that stuff. <laughs> so you guys, that is going to conclude day two of the Texas trip. We got some stuff. Not going to say it was the best realistically but we at least got some stuff got those personal air jordan one lows that ended up actually being 50 dollars, not 110 we broke down the half boxes because we we did want to sell them with the shoes first we put the shoes in the box then we broke down the half boxes and once we filled up the box we put the half boxes on top and that's how we basically ship the shoes out to ourselves and i do want to touch on the subject of the beginning of the video and that is the competition at basically any clearance store in whatever state you are in there's going to be competition there's definitely heavier competition in some stores than there than there is in others and as you guys saw in the beginning of the video the guy wasn't too happy to see other resellers there basically telling me you know to not record him or tell where the store is and that i will respect but I really don't care about the other stuff he was saying. I do understand that people pay their bills, feed their kids or whatever. If there's people going to your store, like what are you gonna do? You can't do anything about it. I wasn't gonna take any of what he said to heart or anything. You know, I was there to make videos, meet up with some friends and have a good time. I really couldn't care for the fines, whatever I got, I got. I don't wanna completely throw out, you know, his, his narrative of what he was saying. I do understand. I'm not gonna tell you guys the location of this clearance store but if you dm me on instagram i'll gladly tell you i just will not say it in the video out of respect for the other people in this store but like i said you know there there's multiple people who think like this and you know it's unfortunate because literally everybody can eat in this game everybody has different business models not everybody buys the same shoe but yeah there was a lot of people who you know had issues or have issues with you know new resellers coming to the store and it is what it is I really can't speak for them and I'm not going to. So yeah, you guys, I mean, let me know what you guys think of, you know, the situation that happened, not really a situation, but what that guy was saying in the beginning of the video. What do you think of other people coming to your clearance store and buying stuff? Um, I really don't have an issue with it because like I said, everybody eats, but some people do. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. That is going to conclude day two two of the texas trip i really hope you did enjoy it. if you did please make sure to go ahead and subscribe i really do appreciate you for watching to the very end and as always stay great